going down in enemy territory was probably uh, the last thing in my mind. When I went overseas, I was fortunate enough to be assigned to the 56 fighter group. I think we had 29, 30 pilots. There were seven pilots that were killed and eight or nine became prisoners of war. I always had the thought that some of these other fellows may go down. But uh, I believe I'm going to make it. You know, when you're a kid, you think you can do anything. I went down on November the 30th of 43. And I'd pull back on the stick and the airplane was going up. I went on up to 500 feet. The airplane stalled and uh, I jumped. Ordinary people all of a sudden became confronted with an airman who was hitting in their backyard and they simply want to help him. It takes a lot of courage for these people to hide an allied airman. They knew what they were risking. If they got caught hiding a pilot, they would end up being put in a concentration camp and not survive the war. You get used to danger, that is the thing. I didn't, I didn't think of the danger anymore. And I was so pleased to do something against the Germans. I couldn't fight like a, like a soldier. But this was my way of fighting. If a member of the underground movement was caught, he was shot or beheaded or tortured or whatever. We'd just been captured by the Gestapo, and, uh, and then they took us off to prison. Looking up, and there was the German flag, the big old swastika, flying over the prison. And there were several elderly ladies sweeping the streets with just big old uh, brooms. I thought, man, I'd lie. I'd give anything just to be out there sweeping the streets. When I left Belgium, I felt like I probably would never return. I'm kind of anxious to see if I can halfway retrace my steps. I think going back is an opportunity for me to say thank you to a lot of people. You don't realize what your freedom means to you until it's taken away.